Hi everyone and welcome back. My name's Anna McCauley and you're going to be today you're going to be looking at doing an online tutorial on the Drost Day effect, which is a very cool special effect which basically gives the impression of multiple images. The, this is a simple version, but the more complex ones connects the layers together and that's a little bit more advanced. So we're not going to be doing that today. So we're going to have a go at doing an image like this, but what I've done is I've made the image that you're going to work on a square and that's a really good thing to do to start with. So if you crop us into a square, just like an Insta square, um, it's much easier to do what we're going to do. So that's my advice is to make a square first and we'll get into it. Alright, here we go. So the first thing you're going to do is just to open up one image and you can make this a picture of anyone or you can do use the one that I've provided. You'll find that in a link in my Pinterest um, or your teacher may have downloaded that for you onto a network. So if you just want to click on Droste profile pic and go open. So that's a square ratio. So obviously you can have anyone in it. It's a good idea to get fairly close if you're going to take a portrait like this. Um, just because we're going to get quite duplicated quite a lot and quite small. And you're going to need to be able to see the face. Alright, so um, what we're going to do first is we're going to put a nice white border around it. That will give it more emphasis in terms of the repeating of the pattern. And I wanted to show you that because I was just going to give that to you, but I thought, you know what, it's a good, probably a good thing to learn and it's in a line with the techniques that we're learning today. So, but what I might do first is just click over here and double click onto the name layer zero. And what I want you to do is just to name, and it might, if you've got a new image, it might be called background and it might have a lock on it. You need to unlock that lock. And we're just going to call this original. Now this is important, or you can call it whatever, but as long as you know that that's the original image. So now that's called the original. So I now know that that's my source file. Very important. All right, so the first thing we're going to do is to make a white nice little border and it's not too hard so what we're going to do is we're going to do a new layer so a couple of ways you can do that you can go layer new layer shift control n or you can click on the button next to the bin Create new layer. You click on that, it will give you layer 1. Now we want this layer 1 to be at the bottom underneath the original. So you're going to hold your mouse down, the left mouse, hold it down and drag that down. Your original's up here now, your layer 1's down on the bottom. If it's locked, if it's got a little lock on it, you have to unlock it first. Alright, so that's the easiest thing. So now what we're going to do is we're going to make this original a little smaller. And instead of dragging it yourself, because you can really easily not get that right, um, I'm going to show you a little trick. And this is technique really is the thing we're going to be using through the whole thing. So this is a really easy technique that I'm going to show you. Make sure that you've clicked on Your original and it's blue and it's highlighted. You're going to go Control T. This this is the shortcut of the day. We're going to be using that all the time. Control T or Command T on your Mac, and that is transforming your image. So here we go. Control T, and you can see how it's giving you a box around it. Now, what we want to do is be able to change that scale of it without disturbing its ratio. Now you can drag it in by holding your shift key down which will maintain the ratio but an easier way which I will do is you go up here and this is what we're going to be using through the whole thing is you click on maintain aspect ratio 
So see how that box is now highlighted there. And you are just, so you can change either the height, the width, or the height because they're both going to uh, work together. And we're just going to make that. So I'm just going to, I'm just holding my mouse down and highlighting it, and then I'm going to type in 95. And see what that's done is it's brought the image in. Double click or press enter to get that um, to work so it's no longer highlighted. Right, that's step one. Now what we want to do is click back on our layer one and we would like to fill that instead of it being see-through fill, I mean it might look quite cool see-through too but um, we could we want to fill it with white or black either either so you can just go to your double click on the color down there I'm just going to go to white go OK and because I'm on layer 1 if you're not on your right layer this will look bad because you'll end up clicking paint all over your face and you're going to use the fill tool which was here if you can't find it, it's under your gradient tool. With your fill tool, which looks like this, or you can use a big brush and go around it, you click and fill the image with white. Now you can see how layer one has filled the image with white. That's what we want. Now you can merge that down so it's one layer and go control E. There you have it. You have one image now that is completely um, got a nice beautiful white border around it. If that is too complicated for you to start with, don't worry about doing that step and just focus on getting the image right and then you might like to go back and have attempted that. So now we're going to, once you, you've still got your fill tool, you've got to be careful with that because we don't want to fill our face with white. Go back up to your move tool or press V just as a shortcut and that will get rid of that. Now we seem to have lost our name original, so click on the layer one again and call it original again. So the first shortcut that I'm going to teach you, which is really easy one and once you've once you've done this tutorial, you're really going to know it off by heart, is Control J, which duplicates your layer. If you get stuck, you can go to Layer, duplicate your layer there, and that will do the same thing. Or you can right click on your mouse, and this in duplicate layer is there as well. But shortcuts are the way to go. So we're going to, and this is going to be full of shortcuts, not too many, just two, I hope. So control J and see how we've got original copy now. So we've got two files. Yet it looks the same because they're the same size. So they're not going to show up as anything different because we've just literally copied it. So what I'm going to do is just show you this and then we're just going to repeat it again and again and again. And you can do it as complicated or as simple as you like. And you'll understand that in a minute. So I'm just going to show you. Alright, so with our original copy, not our original, we are going to transform that. Making sure that it's um, on top of the original, so it's not below the original. Of course, it's not, it's, it defaults to being on top, but anyway. So if you go Control T, which is Edit Transform, Control T, you'll notice that there is boxes around that and what we're going to do next is click up to maintain the aspect ratio and that's where it says that there maintain aspect ratio and what that does is it allows you to keep the width and the height the same which is what we want and all we have to do then is go to either our height or our width, highlight it along, just like we did when we made the white square, 
and we're going to start now dropping that size down. Now this depends on what you want is how complicated. I'm just going to go down in tens and you've just got to keep remembering what you've done. So this one's going to be 90 and double click on or press enter and that applies the transform. Now you can see you have two images, one which was 100%, the next one which is 90. That's all we do and then we repeat. However, the trick to it is, is to always go off your original file. That way it keeps the resolution and quality of the image being repeated. Because if you keep, if you copy a copy of a copy of a copy, it starts getting pixelated really quickly. And you can see that in some of the images that people have put on the net where they haven't taken it from the original source. That is why we call it original. So, being that said, we're going to click back on original. And this gets, this is easy for now, but when you have a few layers, you've got to drag it right up to the top, but I'll explain that. So the shortcut, what was that? To duplicate a layer, does anyone remember? Control J, you got it. And now it says original copy two, which is great. But what we want to do before we transform it is always remember to drag that copy up to the top. It has to sit on top of everyone. And because it's not been resized, it still will look like the original. So it looks like you've lost it, but you haven't. So now working on original copy two, but clicking on it, make sure it's blue. We're going to do the shortcut for transform, which was control or command is Mac, command T or control T like that. So control T, go up to hit the bar with the as maintain aspect ratio, highlight the height. It's a bit tricky then. And last time we went to 90, so now I'm going to go to 80. And you can tell you get it right because it will look like that. If you get it wrong, it will look like smaller or something like that. If you're happy with that, press enter or double click in it and it will be transformed. So far so good. Next one. Click on, you got it, the original image. Duplicate it. How do you do that? What's the shortcut? Control J. Now it says original copy three. You bring that up to the top palette. So I, I held my mouse, held it down and I dragged it up the top, still on highlight. So we should have original, original copy, original copy two and original copy three. We're now going to transform this. What's the shortcut? Control T, you got it. Then we go to our aspect ratio. And because we did, what do we do? This is when you got it. I'm talking too much, I can't remember. So we've got 90, 80, so this will be 70. Highlight it, go type 70 on your keyboard. Ooh, looking good. And press enter. Or tick, click, press that tick, it's probably easier. Or double click in it. And that is done. And we'll repeat. Clicking on original, control J. That copies the original, Draw, holding your mouse down, drag it up the top. Let it go. It now says copy four. We now do control T to transform it. We now hit our aspect ratio, adjust our height to 60. Excellent. You can click this tick here. That also makes it work. Or you can double click in the image. That's usually what I do. Just trying to be a bit fancy. 
So you can go do repeat this process as many times as you like. You could go instead of doing by tens, you could go 95, 90, 85, 80, you know, down that way if you wanted to. So I'm going to do it again, which is the original, bound to the original. Control J, you got it, to duplicate that original, or layer duplication is all we're doing. We're going to hold our mouse down and we're going to drag it up the top. Let it sit there. We're not going to panic. We know we've got all those layers underneath. Now you have to transform it. What do you do? Control T. So you're starting to learn the shortcuts. I bet you are. Then you'll never want to go long all the way up to here. You might much rather just press a shortcut on a keyboard. Go to your width ratio set. And what did we do? I've forgotten now. We're on 60. Was it 50? See how that goes. Yep, that's good. Or was it 40? I'll just, I'll just double check that. Nope, it's too much. So good. That's 50. Let's see how I forget. But it's easy to check, yeah? So you just don't press enter or press that tick when you're done. Looking good. Oh, little melt moment there. So if you do control T here when you're on your original because you're getting mixed up between control T and control J you're actually going to stuff up your original so you don't want to try and do that ever I mean it's undoable but you know just concentrate on the, the doing control J first beautiful and now it's number six take number six up keep it in that order so now it's six five four three two one we're not going to panic because it's blocked it we're going to transform it, control T to transform. Click on original six, control T. If it's not highlighted, it won't work. Was it 50 or 40 now? 40. Woo. Tick the tick if you want there, that will keep it. Shall we do another one? So you can keep going. You can even change this face at the end if you want to or something, you know, make it just white or black or or whatever. And people put hands in it as well, so that's a little bit harder. So this one we're starting off is easy. Click on the original. I'm not even going to say it. You can just do it. How'd you go? So do you remember? Clicking on the original. Control J. It's now number eight. Drag it all the way up to the top. Control T to transform it. Aspect ratio. 30. Woo. All right. So I'm going to stop there, but obviously you can keep going if you like. It really depends on the look and the image that you want. You can go down forever. Once you're happy with your image, you need to flatten all those layers. And I've shown you how to do that before, but we'll try and do that again. So you're going to go to... You're going to go to... Layer flat an image. There we go. So now it's back to one background layer with a lock. And that looks pretty cool. So um, after that you save it, file, save as. And I might save it as draw state pro for pick number two. And a PNG if you want a smaller file, JPEG or bitmap. These files are going to be quite big as well. Oh, it's not actually, it's only one meg. That's okay. And okay. Alright, that is done. Um, good luck. Please post some stuff up on YouTube and show me or give me a link to some Pinterest. If you create something like this, I'd love to see them. Um, and happy Photoshopping. Enjoy that one. It's pretty easy. Remember your shortcuts. Control J and Control T. That's all it is. Okay, until next time. Happy Photoshopping!